Welcome to the Call Like I Don't See a Podcast where we talk about movies, <laughs> comics, <laughs> games, <laughs> sports. <laughs> Finish it off! Finish it off! Finish it off, damn it! And all that stuff, I am GP. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy AD back again for another week. What up, people? You didn't like my sound effects, bro? Come on, man. I did, but it was just funny because you changed Come it up. On, like man. you did, you did, pium pium, but then, yeah, yeah just gotta yeah. keep it fresh, keep it fresh. How you I doing, man? That. I'm doing good, man. How are you? Haven't seen you since last night. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, like like what? Twelve hours ago. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. Hope you got some good sleep. Uh, hope you folks also saw our promo vid. Actually, that thing's getting oh, yeah. some hits. Yeah, that was fun. We got over what a thousand views on that already. A thousand, like almost like thirteen, fourteen hundred. God, hey, we popular. Thank <gasps> you, <laughs> thank you for the watches. Uh, how was your week, dogs? I didn't even ask you this yesterday, so I'm gonna ask you right now. <laughs> oh man, my week was uh, pretty busy, man. With work, man, I couldn't do do nothing of nothing really. Right, hence why we uh, comics. Had to- had to push our promo to Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cliff wrote me. Yeah, that was my yeah. fault right there. <laughs> Actually, I play, I play a little bit of part in that, too, so it's all right. Yeah. We share the load there. <laughs> load is heavy. at work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sweet. Finally finished Resident Evil Village. The Game Killer Strikes Again. I finished it. Finally finished it. And and you told me you finished it right before you went out to the movie theaters, right? It's like a few hours before, yeah. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You beat games so fast, bro. So fast. Yeah. I'm thinking Once about... Again. I'm thinking about getting Bio Mutant as the next game, but I've been looking at some reviews, so it's like half and half on it. Uh huh. So you're gonna beat that by what tomorrow? If I, if I get <laughs> it, maybe you're gonna, you're gonna get it at two o'clock today, and you're gonna be beating it by <laughs> two p.m. Tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> two p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> that Late. guy GP. Yeah. Hey, it's Labor Day tomorrow, so yeah, yeah. you sh- should be able to beat it all in one day, mm. depending on how fast you go. Mm. Sweet. Good. Congrats, man. Finally beat that game. Okay, and then. I finished the first half of the last season of Attack on Titan. Ah, and, is it good? Uh, I have not like I fell it off. I fall off. Uh, at on. first, they is a is a time skip, so it's kind of mm-hmm. confusing a little bit. Mm-hmm. But like as it progresses, it gets good. It gets good. The action still there. The intensity and all of that. Oh yeah. Is there more crying? Because that's what li- that's what made me jump off of Attack on Titan. It's just way it's, too much crying. It's it's not that much crying. It's just more depressing. Like like the characters, mm-hmm. the the main characters um, is more de- depressed as <sighs> much as there was before. That sounds like that sounds it's like still, it's, dead, it's still it sounds like Walking Dead game. problems to me. It's right. still a depressing you know show overall. Mm-hmm. It's just more depressing. Without the tears. <laughs> yeah. It's new okay. characters set in, and they just more, you know... More depressed by the situation. Right. There you go. I, that's, see, that's the thing. I don't know if I could enjoy a show if it's that depressing. That's why I left. You know, it was depressing, and then on top of that, no, everybody kept crying for like five minutes each. <laughs> like, you crying for five minutes, we got to watch you cry, and then it's, it's just and too, then much, too much. And they cry together. On. Right. Right. All right. Well, you, at least you enjoyed it, right? If, that's, if mm-hmm. you're watching it. I was enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sweet. Well, give um, a review on that one. Uh, you got a review so far? You're going to review it once it's done? I'll probably review it once it's complete. I don't know why they okay. split it up anyway. Right. Just just play the just whole Just finish thing. it off. Yeah, just finish just it off. off. Yeah. Jeez. Give us what we want. Right. Well, give y'all what y'all want. I'm not watching it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and then I I uh, watched, well, I bought Lupin the Third, the first, on Blu-ray. Mmm. Man. That's a pretty that the, Is that the one that's like... Is it like CGI or something like that? Computer? Yeah, it's a uh, CGI. Okay. It's like, uh, it's a great look for a CGI. I've mm-hmm. never seen an anime CGI film. Mm. And this rendition of Lupin the Third was pretty dope, man. Nice. Yeah. Story was uh, story's on point? The story, story was decent. Mm-hmm. But the, the third act kind of fell into that I gotta save the world mm-hmm. type of Thing. You know, you know, right. like a, well, a character you're not used to have to save a world, save the world at the end. Right. I wasn't used to to that character saving the world. But I, oh no. Then again, I haven't uh, watched a, a episode of Lupin the Third in a while. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never touched Lupin, so <laughs> anything that you're telling me there sounds good enough for me. I'm just like, yeah. all right, sweet. But the, sounds the, good. But the nostalgia of the classic anime was uh, all over the movie. Mm-hmm. And. uh 
actually made me want to watch some old episodes. Huh. Yeah. It's it's good to throw on an old classic anime every now and then. Like, I was thinking to do that with um, Gundam Wing, just for the hell of it, dude. Like, Gundam yeah. Wing is one of those classic animes. Like, you throw it on, you get all into the politics of space policies and mm-hmm. stuff, and it just makes so much more sense as an adult. It's so good. Just cuddle yeah, up so and good. watch an old sure, anime. Man. Yeah. So what would you uh can you give a quick uh rating out of ten for Lupin the Third? For Lupin the Third. I know it's not a full review, but <laughs> I give it an eight and a half out of ten. That's watchable, folks. That's good enough for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might just watch Hey, let me borrow that. You got it on DVD, right? Yeah, I'll let you borrow it. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm gonna come over later and pick it up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So that was your week, guy. That was all that you did. That you did a lot. That was Working my a lot. Week. That was my Lupin, week. Tackle Time, Resident Evil, boom, Busy boom, boom. Man. Mm-hmm. Busy Busy. Yeah. Oh my God. I too. I too. Like I said, I played a part in um, why we had to push our episode a little bit late this mm-hmm. season and recorded this week. Cause, dude, these first two weeks of school, bro. Like, oh man. We just got back. As teachers know, it's like a world, a, a hurricane. I want to say hurricane mixed with like a tsunami. <laughs> just like so many things thrown at you with all these kids coming back and mm-hmm. papers and forms filling out and trying to in, get your systems and your classroom management all in order. It it's just chaotic, bro. But somehow I made it through, and, and I mean, but in the process of this, you know, comes all the uh, biohazard attacks with all, all these kids sneezing yeah. again. Right. Like what? What sickness did you catch over yeah, the cough. <laughs> you, you turn your head. What, what? Yeah, another cough. Yeah, it's it's yeah, and everybody's like super paranoid, of course, with um, you know being back in person. We're back to wearing masks, but kids are like still sneezing off the chain. And I had like what two kids that that's been sick the last couple of days, and I think I don't know. I think I caught something because I'm sounding like extra nasally, and Uh-oh. I've been sneezing a lot like the last two days. So I'm just like, bro. Let's anyway, hope it's so, a little fluke. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. But on top of everything, you see, that's a lot. Like, it's a lot going on for teachers right now. Because on top of trying to get these students caught up from like the lack of learning that they got last year with virtual, right? Um, so on top of all that, you're dealing with stuff that you know administration wants and then whatever the state wants, and then filing out all this other paperwork. So it's just been uh, crazy. Like, I, I was like, oh snap, it's already two weeks of the school year already. I was like, what? <laughs> you, bl- I blinked. I blinked and it was gone. Like I think that's why I put those sound effects on, bro. Because I was just like, that's exactly how my weeks went. It's just like, choom, choom. All right. The, episode the, 54. <laughs> episode 54 of do you, Eddie. <laughs> do, do you have more kids than you had last last season? Nah, I'm actually down, dude. I'm like, it's only like, I got 12 kids in my homeroom and like 13 kids in the next one. So, I don't know. I think kids are just falling off and coming back because of the whole situation with, you know, COVID. COVID. So, yeah. But that's just my class. I don't know. I don't know how it is school wide. But other than that, I mean, I've been thankful <laughs> that I made it through and enjoying this three day weekend. All yes, teachers out there. Three day weekend. Three day weekend. Happy Labor Day, y'all. Happy Labor Day. Labor off. Take it off. Shut Labor it off. Labor off. Take don't your alarms off. Don't do a damn thing. Sit on your couch. If I couldn't even breathe, I'd stop breathing too. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, <laughs> wait, whoa! <laughs> don't turn that off. No, no, no. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. <laughs> Keep the breathe. Keep the breathing going. Dude, stop everything else, but keep the breathing going. <laughs> please, please, please. We give the worst advice here. On the podcast. <laughs> stop breathing. Why are you not breathing? You're going to see they somebody try to hold their breath. Who? What you hold your breath for? They told me to. They the told avid, me. diehard listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't take these things literally, folks. No, no, no. But on the flip side, I did have a little, like, nostalgia as you were talking about looping. Um, dude, I, I was catching, I caught on BT. I think it was because we were talking about cable two episodes ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, let me throw a BT on a Saturday and see what they show it. And they were showing, like, back to back marathon of uh, French Prince of Bel Air. Right? Oh, snap. Yeah. Dude, and I was rolling for, like, three hours straight, bro. <laughs> I was like, why is this show. I forgot. I mean, I knew it, fun, it was funny growing up when we were watching it, but right. I just forgot how funny this show is, dude. And I think, like, some of the jokes hit harder now because, like, we're, you know, adults and we have all these different experiences now to understand certain people and, and like, how they say certain lines. You know what right. I mean? Like, Uncle Phil would say a line now, and, and I'll be like, oh, my God, that was spot on and accurate mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and just so humorous because of the situation. You, you've experienced it now, so you can laugh at it even more. Right. You know, and then like, but the butler would say something. I just, I was just dying, dude. I, I had to tell my wife. I was like, "You remember Fresh Prince being this funny?" Like, but, yeah, I was which, dying. which episode did you watch? Uh, the one, well, the one that was rolling at was um when Jazz got married, right? Remember ah, when he, he, yeah, <laughs> he yeah, married yeah, that yeah. little girl yeah. from the, from the prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the, the bridesmaids comes in and he's like, all right, let's take a picture. So they take a picture of Stannis Drake and they turn. <laughs> turn, turn like they... <laughs> like it's a mugshot. Mugshot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was rolling. And then Carlton is like, excuse me, man. Can... <laughs> he comes from the siding and he wants to get a thumbprint. And then he finds out like the one chick, what was she in jail for? And mm-hmm. it was um, something dealing with uh, this laundering um, finances or something like that. And then that's yeah. and then he flipped his whole uh, uh, whole look of her because he's like, oh, so he grabs her arm. I'm like, <laughs> laundering money jokes was in this episode. It was hilarious. <laughs> I wouldn't, I didn't catch that when I was younger. You know what right, I mean? So right, right. now it was like it was so funny. Yeah. And then the next one was another classic uh, with John Witherspoon when he came on. Uh, oh. He's the father of that of that one chick that Will was trying to date, yeah. right? You get, your, get your momentum. Go momentum. 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 Go momentum. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting by the campfire. Somewhere there's music. <laughs> 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 he was in the plane trying to like torture Will, and then it, Will's like, and I suggest scream for my life, huh? And then he just hops out on the side, and <laughs> Will's like looking like. Did he just really hop out this play? I don't know, man. It was just too yeah. funny, bro. Yeah. So yeah, that was a good dose of nostalgia right there. I was like, I love. I'm now I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should turn it on BET and give it some relevance in my life again, <laughs> just yeah. for Fresh Prince. Or I could just go back and t- watch it on HBO Max. It's HBO See? Max, yeah. There you go. There goes the killer for cable. <laughs> commercial free, by the way. So exactly. yeah, my dude. Yeah, I, I sat through commercials, bro. I was like, what am I doing? I'm actually watching this shit like it's like, <laughs> like it's on regular TV. Uh, I asked you this uh, earlier. I thought she was uh, gonna. I thought she was talking about watching that movie Karen on BET. But oh hell, I'm about to hang. <laughs> Do not in your life ever think I'm gonna. I'm not watching that for no call. I can't believe I just watched. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Jennifer, don't sign us up. I'm not doing it. I'm don't not doing think it, about it. I'm not, I saw, and they tried to run that commercial too. While I was watching Fresh Prince. I'm like, oh, oh I hell bet. No. Yeah. Oh hell. That's so, that's yeah. hard to watch, man. I, 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 I watched that preview. I was like, I can't. I can't. Nah, I didn't even make it through the preview. I was like, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not dealing with this crap. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much my week, dude. But can we move on? Because there's some major things we got to talk about. Oh, bro. we can move on, man. Like, I on. really, like, folks, this episode, it's, it's called Call It A Short Room because we, we really just have a short uh, slate this week. Super but short. But it's the, the amount in terms of what the episode and movie has done. Might take up an hour. If it does, Ooh. we'll see. We'll see. But that what if episode, dude. Oh, what if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his oh, hands? Oh, my God. God, oh, you know what, GP? I'm just gonna say it right now. Ten out of ten. I don't even. You don't even need to wait for it's, my. It's automatic. <laughs> ten out of ten. You don't even need to wait for the ten rating. out of ten. It's, ten if, out of ten. This is one of those what if episodes that could be read in a comic book form. For me, mm-hmm. this is what what if should be. This is the the prime bar for what and what if episode should be. Folks. Very Doctor Strangey. Yes, Ooh. so Doctor Strangey, the worst Doctor Strangey. Doctor Strangey, Strangey. It was very Strangey. It was it perfect. Was very Strangey. But the whole premise of him, you know, not losing his hands, losing the love of his life, who now he turns out to actually, you know, actually show that he loves uh, right. Christine. Because right? like the the movie didn't really show him, you know. No, because he was like a jerk. Like a, yeah, he was exactly. a jerk. He, he was, was a little arrogant. Yeah. He was kind of like a playboy kind of mentality. Right. So he actually does love. You know Christine here, and then it tragically loses her in the same fashion, sort of in the way he was driving his car. Oh, oh, right? Oh, sad. So sad. I can't even laugh at that dude. That's hard. That's heartbreaking, bro. Cut it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like the fact that he stopped. <laughs> why you laugh? You just laughed just now. But I'm why? La- <laughs> why the fact that um, he was like? Well, I, I'll talk about that later. I'm going. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna talk about why did he like. Think that he can change mm. what's faded already. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's like, the, that was the driving theme of like, look, dude. If something's inevitable, it's inevitable, right? Yeah. But the madness that can drive someone out of loving somebody. I mean, that was another theme. Like, dude, you would go to the ends of destroying the whole universe, <laughs> right? For Spo- the one person that's you know. spoiler. Oh yeah, we should. I mean, they, they know that already. Probably. Yeah, they know that already. But, know, you, know, you. you know, before we start. If you don't like it, leave it. <laughs> this if you is love it, right? it, leave it. <laughs> if you love it, leave it. <laughs> if you Wait, love what? it and you want to see it for no yourself, sense. then leave it. <laughs> there you go. All right, makes sense now. But yeah, um, yeah, it just showed how 
deep he would he goes to, to you know bring this chick back it was very twisted though the dark route that he went it was like eyeball opener for seeing doctor strange in that dark mode like a yeah. dark doctor strange mm-hmm. is the scariest thing i'm t- telling you for the more multiverse bro yeah if they bring that character into the like real multiverse we are like if that's if he is in multiverse of madness all hell's gonna break loose like right. literally that is hell right there right oh and what you think about what you think about him trying to stay away from the car crash and, and try various ways of keeping her alive and still <laughs> Like it's the fact, still ending up. The fact that when he when he stayed in, in that bar and just mm-hmm. and she still died in the she whole still died in the, burning in the whole building. Oh. And when at that point, because at that point I think they already showed like six other scenarios. Right. But at did, that yeah. point in apartment, I was like, bro, this is just inevitable. She has right. to die. There's no way. There's no way you can <laughs> like, save her. If the if the uh, if if the ancient one is coming back from the dead to tell you like no she has to die like you go down this road there's no like fixing this right. <laughs> you know this is just one of those things that has to happen and w- at that point I was just like dude yeah maybe you should stop because she's really just meant to die right now bro mm-hmm. but that driving you know the heart is a powerful driving force here for for Doctor Strange so you can't really blame the guy you know mm-hmm. especially for us that have that very significant love of our life in our life you know it's like well we we'll go through the ends of the universe to try to undo it you know right. what i mean mm-hmm. like but I, I don't know if I'll be sucking up demons to, to, to break Man, it. Yeah, that was a lot of mythical know. beasts you was, you was know, co- I mean. absorbing. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do all that. Yeah. But God dang. I, at that point, I was like, dude, that was that was looking like the dark the dark form of meth, like a meth, a meth <laughs> addict. Like, yeah, because when he absorbed it, he oh. changed into him a little bit and then changed yeah. back into his form. And then he so, gets more eyeshadow around right. his eyes. It's just like, you yeah. need to watch out, dude. Get more, more gothy there, Dr. Dr. Strange. Goth. <laughs> gothic, gothic Dr. Gothy? Strange. <laughs> oh, my God. But this episode was like top-notch flawless from, from the storytelling aspect, dude. Like, right. There was no fault in how they told the story. It was the most balanced storytelling in the, what, 33 minutes that, mm-hmm. that this episode was. It was the great pa- pacing, too. Yeah, the pacing was, like, it, it was appropriate for what was going on. You know what I mean? Because it felt like, it felt like, and it felt like a 30-something minute. It felt like I was watching something that was a good movie, a good short right. film. You right, know what I'm and it And it had a bit of originality to it as well in terms of its in right. terms of its scenario. Yeah. All of the others were kind of like playing off of previous things, you know what I mean? But this was kind of like its own original setup. You know and what this I mean? the first one that actually had all the cast from the movie playing in the, the in parts. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that, that was good. That was good. I enjoyed thoroughly, like... It was, it was, I don't know, I didn't know it was going to happen, but the fact that they let it happen in this episode with the Watcher actually know, noticing, like, Doctor Strange be noticing his presence. I said, holy yeah. crap, though. my jaw was on the floor, bro. Yeah, in the comments, so, the, some of, you know, well, the Watchers let, let them be known to people that they watching at some mm-hmm. point. Oh, they, I inter- didn't know that part. They do intervene, too, so, you know. Oh, they do? Yeah, they do, but they don't. They're not supposed to, but they still do in some cases. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you, you're the comic book guru for a reason. You knew mm-hmm. that part. For yeah. me, on the outskirts, I'm like, I didn't know. But like, I like the way that this was, you know, brought about of him, like, like he was, like, like the watch talking to us, mm-hmm. and then he like, who said that? Right, right. Like he, he could feel it. him. He could yeah, feel he, his he presence. Could feel it. Because yeah, he gets stronger trippy. from those beasts. That was true. Yeah, but like I'm saying, if you didn't know that aspect, like they, they, they do help out sometimes in the comics, right? Right. And seeing how they played it out here in the beginning of the of uh, this series where he's like, you know, I can't interfere. That was his whole stance from the beginning. Right. So the fact that this episode four is like he's he's actually talking to other characters, mm-hmm. that was mind blowing enough. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy crap. It made sense for because he was too powerful. <laughs> he was too powerful. He's so powerful. He can notice his presence. I was like, right. "Damn, bro, mm-hmm. that was crazy." Yeah. And then at first, I'm like, "Yeah, watch it, please," because this the world is shrinking about around yeah. him. <laughs> please help him. And it was the charge, mind blowing, just flat out. This is how the episode ends. Yeah, yeah. that's what left us at all. Now, like, now that's what makes it a good what if episode too, because yeah. Like, uh, basically, everybody then told you, "Don't do this." You still mm-hmm. doing it? You don't listen? This is what you get. This you is what you get. It was the universe. first, the first episode to end without like a a positive story ending. You know but what I mean? But then again, if you notice, like every like every single one had like a little, this ain't the end. Mm-hmm. Some, some some something else about to happen. Pop yeah, up. but it but it wasn't like it wasn't as definite. Like, but this like one is just as an it. end. 
Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't such a morbid ending. This is the first one with actually, like, a very morbid ending. Mm -hmm. All of the others were like, you know, people, the universe is still existing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. This one, no, it's just Dr. Strange. <laughs> this one, you're too powerful. you just stuck in this, exactly. you just stuck in this small space. Just You destroyed the galaxy that you were in, and this is it. This is your, in your, sorrows, your yeah. world now. Like, I, I, I wish they'd give us, like, a bonus episode, like, five years later, where he's still, like, in that little zone playing, yeah. like, Doctor Strange Uno or something he's just <laughs> by himself playing a, <laughs> playing a ukulele <laughs> <laughs> ukulele Uno how are you passing the time now that you are stuck like this you know right. what I mean oh my if, if he doesn't take his own life at that point because who? What, what are you going to do with that you and know? again can he he's too powerful so right can he take his own life or can he like do another uh, time thing where he jumps into another realm can he do that yeah, or is that you know? it or is that uh, it you know? I don't know. Who knows? But the the magnitude of the decision that he made was just oh, oh man. Yeah. That just goes to tell you, bro. Dude, that'd when, be hilarious if they if they used this character as a villain. Like you uh -huh. said, he, he crossed over to another uh rea reality, alternate dimension. Ooh. And nobody's stopping that. Villain. Yeah. Unless unless you got unless you got um Scarlet Witch exactly. you know, try to help out with that. What if that's actually... the what if that's the villain for, <laughs> for Doctor Strange too? Multiverse of Madness. It's, it's madness. That, that would actually be interesting, dude. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not opposed to that mm -hmm. because dude. that fight between Strange and Strange was freaking awesome. Oh that was like, man, that was one of the best verses. That was full on Strangey, like you yeah. said. That was super <laughs> Strange, man. Strange, strange versus strange. strange. I was rooting hard for the good guy, though, for the good Strange. I was like, come on, yeah. Strange, and, come and on. And he was holding his own. He was that little what the tattoos that was on his face. Yeah, <laughs> the little yeah. Markings. Wong, Wong, was Wong I started? hooked him up with that. Yeah. Yo, Wong, MVP all around. Wong man, is just the Wong the is man. just the go-to, man. Yeah. Between Wong, between this one and, and uh, Shang Chi, what we're gonna talk about later, Wong is now standing out as like, man, he is a favorite dude. Wong, Wong is like he can he could be a social supreme if he wanted to. If he wanted to, like he's it. just chilling. He yeah, just he chilling, just be chilling. You know listen I mean? to Beyonce. In his I'm spare just a, time. I'm just a librarian. You yeah. know what I mean. I hook you up with a little spell to protect your face and your right. eyes. Right, you going on? But once I saw like he was knocking his chin and pieces of the spell was oh off, yeah yeah yeah, I was like throw the damn towel. <laughs> <laughs> but it was taking a while for those pieces to come off. It was. It yeah. was holding this. But it wasn't gonna hold. Bit. It wasn't gonna hold long. Nah, bro. That was just way too many Mystic Beasts in that. Did you, in that did you actually screen. think the the, the watcher was gonna be like, all right, now I'm gonna help you out? I thought for a split second he was gonna help out because dude, everything around him in the universe was collapsing. Yeah. Like I thought the watch was gonna be like, you know what, this is the one sh time that I would have to lift a finger mm -hmm. or an eyelid or my forehead, whichever right. you have to lift. But right. the then fact he said, that he if said I do no. help him, that's right. gonna mess up. That's and gonna then the disrupt th next thing uh, was, the other realities. Yeah, but the next thing was he was itching like inching closer, closer to Doctor Strange. Like like he is like it was showing like he maybe was gonna help, but then he backed away. Right. You know? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's like, what it was like, yeah. I was like, come on, dude, that's a how you gonna fake somebody out like that? <laughs> that yeah, was he's been up. saying this a lot. I should warn him. Yeah, but I don't want to. But then I should shut up. And, then, then shut <laughs> up. Keep don't watching. say nothing. Don't say <laughs> <laughs> then shut up. Don't say nothing. Then <laughs> just watch. <laughs> don't imply like you might help out. And then just, oops. <laughs> Psych. Exactly. <laughs> Psych. I ain't mean to. <laughs> That's your ass. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and it, like that was. Oh man, I'm just. I'm just remembering it's echoing my head now that him crying Doctor Strange is saying I'm sorry oh Chris <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry ah. and end scene I was like bro I had a fellow co-teacher like she could not she could not could believe the next day like she was just doing a mind blowing hand right. gesture to me and I'm like yeah dude I'm like it, it made you feel like <laughs> it made you feel like hug your loved ones bro hug your loved ones because once they're gone that's it <laughs> and, but the, and the way that they was being deleted like and they could still move around like Wong yeah. was being were being deleted from reality and he was just walking around like and then it trips me out because think about that like if that actually how like the universe ends right in real life and you see yourself disintegrated to like this black goop I'm like right. ah! <laughs> start screaming all the charts. It's, it's like okay compare it compare to would you rather disintegrate into the world ending like that like how what if did with this not strange episode or how the Thanos snap happened um this one because it was going by slow okay so you can, you can at least get a few words out and I'm getting if I if I feeling this uh -huh. it, it seemed like they wasn't feeling it no no it didn't feel like they were feeling it uh, the doctor, uh, the, the Thanos snap feel like they at least felt yeah, it for a yeah, split you know, Peter, second. Peter was like, 
Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. He could actually have said a lot more views yeah. in this situation. Yeah. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. But yeah. this black coop is looking pretty weird. I'm gonna go. But, but then look. again, <laughs> then again, he didn't. He was feeling because he was he was having that. You know that spider sense was going off, and he don't know. Right, right. He's he trying to contain it. Yeah. But at least with this Doctor Strange universe ender, you could at least say like 20 different paragraphs before you actually go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Could actually, you could you, you could you could cast a spell on Doctor you know, Strange to exactly. save him. <laughs> exactly. You, you have yeah. at least some time to be like hey man I bought my checkbook like look go and check it see if I can cancel this one check if not cancel go run it. over to don't Steve. pay that bill don't pay that don't bill pay that. tell my daughter hey look I'm not gonna make it but maybe you're not either gonna make it cause we're all in black goop so right. you know hey so this was fun right. though right and then you get to throw in one last little like callback memory hey remember that one time <laughs> and then you just said this you just said this time 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 <laughs> the last thing he said was an echo. <laughs> what time? Time? What? 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 That time? What? <laughs> I don't know. I remember the uh, freaking Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, I must have forgot. God, 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 God. God. <laughs> <laughs> he fades away into existence. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Those, oh those battles is that? Oh yeah, man! Don't forget to, 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 to yeah, right. <laughs> forget what? Oh <laughs> shit! You didn't get to say it. But it would have been funny if like Thanos popped out too in that mo- in this episode. Like right. this is inevitable. Just use his same line, you know, mm-hmm. just for the hell of it. Because it was inevitable. Like your your wife, his 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 wife, his love interest had to pass away. It's so right. sad. Yeah. But solid ten out of ten. You want to throw in anything else on this episode, bro? Ten oh, out of God. ten. That's all. That's it for that. That's it. I know gripes, nothing, folks. If you want to no chime gripes. in as well, what did you enjoy about this beautifully crafted episode of What If? Let Comment us know below on all the social we've, medias. We're not getting enough comments on our stuff. We need yeah, more man. comments. We need more comments. We appreciate the views, but we want to hear like yeah. actually see words. You we know, give hear us some more your words. thoughts. What if you guys comment more? You know, exactly. let's go to that universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> give me a spell real quick, Jennifer. And, and there'd be spell. too many comments, Jennifer. It's overloading <laughs> with comments, Jennifer. <laughs> and then the, the overloading of comments destroys the universe. <laughs> <laughs> We're hitting three trillion comments. No! <laughs> None but words I, explode. <laughs> <laughs> then I fade away. <laughs> I'm sorry, AD. I'm so <laughs> and, I, sorry. and I'm waiting for me to disintegrate, but I ain't disintegrating fast enough. Dang, oh, come man. on. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> you throw ink on yourself to try to simulate the fact that you're disintegrating. Boy, hush. <laughs> we gonna call it there on the what if though. Call, call it right then and there on that. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, wow, we gotta go to the quick, 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 <laughs> this movie better be four minutes. I don't yes. want to see anything else. Yes. Moonfall, folks. Moonfall. Man. The trailer just dropped, and Lord have mercy. <laughs> what's what's the what's the guy then that do all these destruction? Oh my God! Was that Ridley Scott or no, um, Michael Bay? Roman Image, I think. Oh, that's him. That's him. Yeah, yeah. That's the director. Yeah. Independence Day. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Day after those. tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Right. All these disaster films. Right. So this moonfall thing seems to be like if the moon ever it's it's pretty much a thing out of the worst your worst nightmare actually like if it's, the moon came too close to the earth everybody's <laughs> dead everybody going to die. Look, everybody that, the go. teaser made it look like everybody's going to die to die that's to it die. what if what if moonfall ends like the the Doctor Strange episode where it's exactly like, yeah somebody the universe will be. is it that's it the world is <laughs> done will be one state floating. <laughs> In like space. what if that is how it ends like there's only a spaceship that that remains of humanity yeah. and oh my god that might I be wouldn't the best be surprised. Distra- disaster movie i wouldn't be surprised if two scenarios come out of this at the mm. end of this movie i'm predicting it right now one they find a planet a distant planet somewhere <laughs> and two the moon becomes like terraform into the new earth oh my god with earth like yeah. It's like a double yoke that right. you crack in the morning. It's, exactly. Looks weird. Right. <laughs> half Earth, half Moon. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah. But I don't know. The mass casualties will ensue though in this movie, dude. Yeah. Like, did you? The, did you? Go, go ahead. No, no, yeah, yeah, actually, did you? Question. Did you see any like this? Like this? This black squid monster or something like that? Black squid monster. Like yeah, like like 
Yeah, something. I don't know if it was a squiddy monster, but something right. mechanical. It looked like yeah. something was mechanically something like shiny mechanic. Yeah, whatever, hopefully, like. hopefully it's not like some aliens chuck the moon at the yeah, end. Yeah, I know. I, I don't <laughs> see no aliens in this. No, you, no. Come on. Let it actually be like a natural offsetting fen- uh, galactic phenomenon. Like right, right. The sun gave off a burst of uh, solar energy or something, and it, it forced hit the, the moon. moon. It made the moon yeah, push yeah. up against the earth. Yeah. yeah, you see, if that's not the plot, I don't know what's going to work exactly. here. Because <laughs> that, that sounded legit like the Who explanation. Knows? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we could be movie makers. That sounded legit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you, what like, you think about, what you that, think about that the cast? That could actually happen. Um, Halle Berry's in there, right? Um, uh-huh. Is that Chris? That was a Chris Pratt. That was a Chris Pratt, right? No. That was a Chris Pratt. That was... No, that was... Um, um, who was that That dude? was... Uh, that dude that was, was in Watchmen. He was the owl. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah, also... Yeah. Um, what you call him, brother? Aqu- Aquaman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he could, he could, um, he could, he could carry this role. Yeah, the cast looks decent. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't, yeah. Ma- it doesn't really matter about the cast, bro, because they're, they're gonna die. <laughs> like, <laughs> whoever's in it, th- that's it. They're gonna die. That's true. That's true. Nothing but, and then like it, it's like I said, it's, it's a thing of nightmares for if the moon ever came close. Because I always wondered, what if the moon came too close to Earth, and what would our tidal waves look like? Mm. This dude, the tidal waves on that thing. That you, can you even call it tidal waves? It's just. Like <laughs> monsoon waves, I don't know what you call it. Like it's something, it's something not even called a galactic wave. Yeah, God, galactic dang, bro. wave. There you go. A galactic moon wave. Like right. I am gonna be sh- in breaks when we go see this movie, bro. Literally. Yeah. yeah. To just yeah. To th- put yourself in that mindset of the moon's really too close. Like, <laughs> I, how can you survive? How it ain't. A, survive? It ain't a super. It ain't a super moon. It's the moon. The moon. <laughs> it is the moon. T H E caps moon. That's it. It ain't no form. It's just there in your in your crap. There's no cycle. <laughs> it's not a full moon of a moon crack. It's it a full no, moon of a moon. It's the moon itself. Hello. Exactly. Yeah. Your planet's gone. Holy crap. But I am excited about it, though. I am excited for this. It's probably the first time a disaster movie has this scenario in it. Yeah. So... I'm hyped. I'm ready for it. I want to see what happens. Yeah, Good luck too. to everyone involved. Hopefully, it's not like a, a thing that could possibly happen in their explanation because then I'll be more paranoid about something else that could kill us. <laughs> like, like I said, the moon could drop on <laughs> us for no every reason. Every time at nighttime, you're like, the moon. I'm going to just look up at the sky. I'm going to just look up at the sky. It moves closer. It moves closer. It's a little closer. Here. I'm going to be texting you more. Did you see the moon last night? Yeah, I saw it. I could have sworn it was closer to the it's earth, It's a little bit closer to the north, man. We got to start packing right Where now. Where we going to go? <laughs> <laughs> Where we going to go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Help Where me figure something out. Where we going to go, AD? <laughs> Help me figure something out. <laughs> I'm going to move when you, when you grab somebody and shake them. Where we going to go, AD? <laughs> That's why we watch these disaster movies to try to figure out what would our plan be. So right, right, right. Go watch Moonfall, folks, and see what your plan will be if the moon decides to collide with the earth. What is that, a summer summer 2022? Yes, yes, summer okay. 22. If we make it, if the moon doesn't fall on us by then, we could be able to watch this movie. I hope not. They got a lot of Marvel <laughs> movies I got to see. <laughs> That's the last thing you'd be thinking about. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to see the next Avengers. <laughs> Goddamn moon messing things up. <laughs> All right, next quick bit. Next quick bit. Uh, Marvel Comics got a, a future uh, slate of titles coming up. That's looking very intriguing. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not from, movie titles, though. They're not movie titles. They're comic book titles. This is your realm, sir. Take it away. This is my realm. Okay, here we go. They got Devil's Ring, Avengers Forever, Timeless, X Lives of Wolverine, X Deaths of Wolverine, She Hulk, mm. Fantastic Four, Reckoning War, Moon Girl, and Devil Dinosaur. And that's it. That's all. And are you going to be copying every one of these comics? <sighs> As the guru that you are, I don't know. Which one are you most looking forward to? The one I'm most looking forward to is um, probably Devil's Ring. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, Daredevil because it's a uh, Wilson Fist is the mayor of New York and he's basically shutting down superheroism in the oh, city. Oh wow! And he's basically telling all the superheroes dark secrets. Out to the public. Damn. And then he got the Thunderbolts ready, if in case mm-hmm. any of the superheroes want to do some superhero vigi- vigi- well, vigilante. Well, how you say? There Vigilant- you go. <laughs> Vigilantism. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vigilantizing. Vigilantizing. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, making yeah. up words here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's vigilante. probably the one most I'm looking forward to. All right. 
I'm not much of a comic book reader, but if you get mm-hmm. one that's really, you know, you know, up there, then maybe I might, you know, persuade me in your comic book corner. Right. So yeah. pretty much this was an advertisement for your comics corner. <laughs> there you go. There Marvel you go. gave you a whole slate to pick from. Yeah. So all you comic book heads out there, stay tuned. It's going to be good. Good timing mm-hmm. for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, next week. Next week. Oh! Uh, this is it, right? This thing talking a little bit of spurts. Talk Only spurts. Uh, spurts moves that we got out here is uh, Cam Newton has been released from the Pats. Bye, uh, <laughs> bye, Cam. Uh, I mean, I'm not shocked at this. It's just like, I mean, Cam Newton. I don't know how much more he has in his career. I actually don't like Cam um, Newton, man. I don't like him either, dude. I'm glad that's one thing we can agree about in sports, right? Um, because like he doesn't carry himself like a quarterback should. You know ever, what I mean? Ever since he was talked about with that whole scandal with his father getting into mm-hmm. the NFL, I was like, man, this dude ain't gonna be great. You going that way? I'm going his wardrobe, bro. I'm like, bro, you can't look <laughs> like a damn clown and be no quarterback of the NFL. With your hat five times the size of your head, and you wear like three different colored scarves at the same time. He he I'll dresses s- he dresses up like a Starbucks worker working in the 1930s. So <laughs> he looks like he should be he he belongs like in Suicide Squad. That's how he dresses. Like he should have been polka dot man. He should, Cam Newton should have been polka dot man. There you go. They did the wrong casting. They should have put Cam Newton. Um, but. Reports are coming in. <laughs> just like a, just like a, a flamboyant zookeeper. <laughs> Back, guys, sir. Acha, acha. But reports are coming in that, on top of the fact that, okay, something I think something happened where he was unvaccinated, and they're not sure, you know, if you'd be able to show up because he's not vaccinated. Blah blah blah. Uh-huh. There was uncertainty uncertainty there, but then there was also reports coming out now that Mac Jones, the one that they're actually going with at quarterback, the rookie that they just drafted, right? Mac Jones was actually teaching Cam the playbook. So Cam don't know the playbook. That after is all these years after. Well, I mean, he's well, he was on the team. This is probably going to be his second season with the team, right? No, I'm just saying, like, like. Well, no, no, because every team has a different format and how they run their offense. Right, right. So I'm trying to so, figure out why. But why is he teaching him the playbook? That's just a t- that's a, that's another thing to go. If this report is true, that just goes to show the work ethic, right? Because if you're on a new team, you need to study that book, playbook and know it inside out, especially right. if you're quarterback. Yeah. So that goes to show you that this rookie was learning the playbook a lot more than Cam, who had actually a whole year to learn it. And implement it. He did not. Another part of the report is Cam was not taking part of the two minute drill because he wasn't knowing the plays properly to execute them. Mm-hmm. Right? Mac Jones, a rookie, comes in and learns a playbook better than you, bro. That is unacceptable. In my so he opinion. basically just don't care. It seems like it. If this was, if this report is true, you're not putting in the work that's required to be a quarterback properly, mm-hmm. and you should be, you know, in Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad too. Like, right. go be a, a character over there. So there you have it, folks. Cam mm-hmm. Newton's not in the Pats. I'm not really feeling bad for either because I don't really like the Pats and yeah. I don't really like Cam Newton. So there you go, me neither. There you go. So yeah. that's it. If you, that's all our sports news for that, and that's all it does for quick bits, right? We got it here. All right. So uh, as you saw in our promo, going really quick here, uh, we saw that beautifully done movie, Woo. jumping into Shang-Chi. the Asian American hero known as Shang Chi. And the legend of the Ten Rings. Yeah, that hip hop Asian infusion is is all about that, right? Since now. this is a short episode, we going ten, all about ten, that, ten for ten. All right, ten for ten on that. Oh yeah, ten yeah. For Hell, ten yeah, you beat me to it so short. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Oh, oh, spoiler. I was like, ten for ten. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> we, oh wait, we already talked about it. What? <laughs> I didn't even say nothing yet. <laughs> 10%. That's all you need to know, folks. 10%. Yeah, 10 for 10. Uh, dude, what do you want to start with this movie, bro? Go ahead. You take it away. Oh, man. It's a classic origin tale. Mm-hmm. This is like like uh, one of the cla- more top as far as origin tales for Marvel to do yet. Yes. High because, movie, man. because if you notice, they didn't really do that many origin tales besides mm-hmm. um, the first phase. The first phase. Yeah. yeah first phase of yeah, Marvel. Yeah. yeah. So, and Captain Marvel. And, and Ant Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this one was very unique. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. In terms Highly. of, you know, about family. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff. Like that was that. a lot of family drama to kick off with, man. It was, man. God <laughs> dang. It's like, first you want to follow your father, you deal with your mother, your father's a jerk, you leave him, you come back, you want to be with your father, then he dies. Oh, my God. I was like, bro. Yeah. Then your sister's all messed up. So you even tight with your sister. Right. I was like, 
dang, Shaq G, how much you got to go through on a yeah. family level of stuff? And I like man. the fact that this is being in subtitles. Like, this makes it feel like, a, you know, more they threw a lot more subtitles hero. Yeah, yeah, subtitle yeah. Like, like, beginning, it was like, it fit because it was mm-hmm. for a certain time and he was in the certain places and, right. and stuff like that. So And they really did a great job of influencing, bringing in the Chinese culture influence here. Right. Right? Because that's mm-hmm. where his whole realm takes place and all their mythical creatures and all that that like, they talk about. Right. Um, but that, yeah, like I said, it was, it was very well, a very well done introduction to this seg this sector of marvel right now Mm -hmm. and simu lu right that's his name the guy yeah right after watching this movie bro i dubbed him i told you in the movie theater last night like simu lu is the mcu's jackie chan like he is the mc he that was a lot of fights that was a lot of jackie chan fighting style folks that was jackie chan in marvel form bro Mm -hmm. i I was so like floored by the choreography of the fight scenes i was like god dang like it was you know think about that one scene in captain uh captain america versus with the show with the the knife flip they Mm -hmm. did that thing like 10 times bro (laughs) like 10 times with the knife flip between he was fighting that um it was more it was more closer it was like more close intense fight yeah, with very the, close. That, yeah. Very, very hands like hand to hand combat, bro. Like mm-hmm. I loved it. It was so real and gritty in the in the, you know, fist fit, hitting fist hitting chest, and then when you throw in the rings hitting your chest. Oh my god, that's a whole yeah. other level. That's this is one of the tight bus scenes of uh, action oh. fight choreography. Like, Better than speed. <laughs> well, speed ain't really had no fight scenes. I'm joking. Speed. <laughs> it was a bus scene though. It was a bus scene. <laughs> it's better than speed. <laughs> Better than speed. <laughs> yeah, dude. I didn't watch because I know they they released that clip a little early on before the movie came out. I didn't watch Man. that clip at all. Mm-hmm. I wanted it to be fresh, and I'm glad I chose that route, dude. Because yeah. that bus scene was tight. And then the music, the music. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. This is like the the parallels. I noticed there was a lot of parallels between how they did this movie and how they did Black Panther, dude. Because mm-hmm. you know Black Panther, they was whole, introducing you to a whole new sector in terms of Wakanda. Right. right here was the Asian version to that is mm-hmm. as they were introducing this whole Tao was it Tao Lao Tao, Tao Lao, Lao. That, that, yeah, Tao, yeah Lao. Tao Lao right and that whole world and it's being hidden and all of that so it had similarities between the two and then mm-hmm. they mix in they, they mixed in like African for Black Panther they mixed in like the African hip hop beat right? right and here they mixed in the Asian hip hop you know what I mean so right. I was just like mm-hmm. it felt like we were watching the Asian version to Black Panther right, right. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I loved it. I loved everything about this movie. Yeah. He, I think he instantly became a, a, a favorite Avenger for me going forward. I, yeah, I think so as well, man. I like, think so. Because he's more, if you notice that he's more grounded as far as like, he's like how they show his life, his mm-hmm. his personal life before um, leave or well, after leaving, you mm-hmm. know, the compound. Like right. him, him going to his, his job, his, mm-hmm. his friend doing karaoke he's more right. of a more relatable relatable relate character yeah. than, than any of these avengers that? besides peter parker right who you doesn't want to do karaoke so, yeah. <laughs> i love those karaoke scenes bro yeah that'd be funny that was funny oh, it was funny songs God. that they was using too yeah it was yeah. it was I, I the next thing i want to bring up as a main point of this movie dude um they had so, like probably the best perfectly placed humor and out of all of the marvel movies yes it was unexpected humor too. Like, like yeah. <laughs> What's her name? Like, um, the actress for Katie Aqua Aquafina. Aquafina, yeah. Aquafina. I, I, I could have sworn that was a drink, but um, <laughs> Aquafina did a very great job as Katie. Uh-huh. Dude. Like yeah. she, she was there for the audience. Like, look, right. I know this is new for everybody. Let me try to like you know balance things out here, <laughs> and, yeah. and that's what her purpose was. Like she balanced the audience. In a way that you know to grasp this new quadrant to the right, MCU, right, right, right. You know like, I mean? like, like she was like like a fish out of out of water. Yeah, fish out of water, fish out yeah. of water, and and made it very laughable, but then understandable at the same time. Right, you know, like he was teaching her like how his origin came to be. He was teaching us, you know, what I mean. So it was, exactly. I love yeah. how they used her character. It was so well done, so well done. <laughs> yeah, that scene, that scene on the plane where he was trying to explain his, you know, his his, his origin <laughs> yeah. to her. Right, and then, the, <laughs> the and then they cut, the... <laughs> interrupt his story. Right, <laughs> that was so funny, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. And then um, the next thing I want to point out, like before this movie, of course, I really had a hatred for Ben Kingsley after Iron Man three. Right. Uh, but now I, he's kind of like being back, back likable for me. But now. did you did you ever see those Marvel one shots? With what? You know those Marvel one shots, like like um, they used to do these Marvel one shots at the. 
when like when a movie comes on like Blu-ray mm-hmm. or DVD, they do Marvel one shots where they where they have a short film about certain, certain characters. characters. Yeah, like, nah, I have not seen that. You never seen none of them? No. Was Bing Crazy well, one of them? Yeah, they had one with uh, during Ant Man, the uh-huh. first Ant Man. They had a they had a one called uh, Dang, I forgot something of the King, mm-hmm. where they show his character in jail. Uh huh. Oh, and, really? And the Ten Rings basically um, about to take him out. It's, wow. So they, he explains what they did in in that Marvel one shot. Right. But you see, and they say the, the, man, the real Mandarin yeah. is it wants you at the end right. of that. So, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, but that's why it was good that they explained it here in this movie too. Yeah, you yeah know what I mean, movie and, form. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, movie form because not everybody's getting, like I didn't see the one shot, so a lot, not mm-hmm. everybody's going to be watching a one shot like that. Right. But they did a great job. This is why he came back to being likable because mm-hmm. they finally gave the explanation for what the hell Iron Man three was all about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, and I'm then not his gonna... father explained it even more by saying I had a lot of names and I never yeah, had. Yeah, them. yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Full, so, yeah. on, full on explanation. So right. I'm not saying I'm going to go back and watch Iron Man three because that movie still sucked. Oh no, but. No. Ben Kingsley, I could give him a little bit more chill now. I'm like, all right, cool, Ben. You made up for it because he actually played a good, funny role here too. At, mm-hmm. at, at certain parts, they didn't they didn't give you too much of him, right? Just mm-hmm. enough, just right. enough. Just Which brings me to enough. brings me to my next point. This movie, the side characters, right? This is one of those movies where all the side characters played their parts brilliantly, mm-hmm. right? They had like the most efficient screen time right. to build this whole Shang Chi world. Yeah. It was so I don't know how they like I don't know Marvel does a great job with how they put their movies out but this right. one with their side characters I feel like they really did a great job helping to build what was around you know even side sis- side characters yeah like, if, but from Wong to the to his sister mm-hmm. to the auntie to his best friend I was right. like man they are doing a great even the, the Max dude like he didn't have to say much the one with the white mask yeah, yeah, and the yeah. blue outfit he didn't have to say much but he did a good job too he's mm-hmm. a badass that's all he had to do yeah <laughs> I want to know who that was though. Like behind the for real, right? Just to see who was behind that. Yeah. Um, and then even the 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 funny announcer guy uh, when he went to the underground fight, he was funny. <laughs> I hope he comes back. They need to bring yeah, him. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, well, he's part funny. of the um, the new Ten Rings. The mo- yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so good. We're gonna see him again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they did a really great job with their side characters, bro. I was like, man, this is this is well, so well done. I was I was really I was really shocked. They, I didn't this, have this, high this... expectations. I was just like going to watch this movie just to watch it. And I'm glad now that I've seen it. I'm like, okay, wow, this movie blew me away. It now, really blew me and away. And this this movie made made me think about a lot of good questions to ask for the Marvel universe now. Mm-hmm. Like, like what? Like, uh, what? Wong took a, uh, the abomination. How did he right. get the abomination? Right. Was they uh, are they was partners into trying to get money? Well, they, at that scene, it kind of seemed like they were right, like they were right. working together to get Wong, uh, money. And right. if you notice, Wong has this thing about him where he's like, he's kind of after money sometimes. Like, he, yeah, he's pretty cheap. <laughs> right, he's pretty cheap. So maybe he's trying to like make a, li- a little living for himself here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is a good question to ask. Like, how did Abomination come back into existence? But stay tuned for She Hulk on Disney Plus because that might exactly. introduce right, right. what happened there. Speaking and, of speaking of um, his foe, Bruce Banner. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bruce Banner is. Bruce Banner is not in the biggest post credit right. scene to date. The longest Marvel. too. It was a long post. Yes, it was. Scene. Yeah. Yes, it was. And I, it was so glorious to see them back. I was like, "Oh snap, Captain Marvel, what's right. up? Yeah, how you doing?" <laughs> but then to see Bruce back as Bruce, I was like, "What happened to Smart Hulk?" Right. So many questions, but there's so many intriguing questions to make you go and watch their streaming service uh, uh, show. And, and how long did this take place? Because when we saw Captain Marvel in mm-hmm. Endgame, she had short hair. Right, and the fact that her hair is long, of right. course, so, you know, it's going to signify she's up to something. Mm. And then I saw this one thing where it's like, when she when she cut off and said, I have to go handle something, it's probably going to lead into her little Marvel's movie right. Right, that's coming out. Mm-hmm. So a lot of different things going on here. And then, as, of course, then that post credit scene with the explanation of where these rings came from, right? right? Mm-hmm. Now there's a whole speculation like, okay, something in the Eternals, Eternals has yeah. to be linked to this because they got to be linked in somehow, right? right? Mm-hmm. And it's 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 now it's opened up a whole other door t- to this phase. Like yeah. it's not just the I think it's not just the multiverse that we have to worry about going forward. It's right. now this whole. It's still the current current timeline you still got to worry right, about. Right, right. It's still the current timeline you got to worry about, and the multiverse you got to worry mm-hmm. about. Something I was telling major you, is coming up. I was telling you uh, last night. 
I don't think he's gonna have those rings for long. Nah, nah, they might take it from him. Yeah, I, I think, think I think I think something gonna happen where it's gonna be destroyed. Or something but you like that. you were saying that he doesn't use rings in the comics, right? No, no, he don't no. need no. Nah, nah. Okay, he's, he's just a master martial of arts. martial arts. Yeah, but doesn't he have moments where he like channels his chi somehow yeah. Yeah. and releases it? Yeah, just like, like he his did mom in the movie. Did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So okay, but just make it never sure. had the rings. Never had those. Never. Rings. Okay. But I'm just his father he's wasn't even. It's different. It's different. Okay, it yeah. is different. Yeah, so the rings were different in the comics too. Right. I'm just hoping he's not like completely powerless because he can't find no ancient creatures. You know what I mean, on his own day, he needs to have something. Oh well, yeah, I, I understand those ten rings. <laughs> so, yeah, that. some <laughs> some type of power, firepower in the, yeah. in the field that's coming up now. Um, but yeah, like like we said, folks, this, this movie was beautifully crafted. I'm I, when I if I could break it down into what it reminded me of, like if it, if let me see, this movie was like Crouching Tiger. Mm-hmm meets Jackie Chan's Who Am I mm-hmm. meets like an Asian Chinese Narnia <laughs> like mm-hmm. if you could just merge all those three together this is what that movie would feel like <laughs> yeah Narnia like, for, Narnia for sure yeah, a sure, lot for the of yeah a lot of characters uh, those animals look like Pokemon characters yeah, dude, good job. Yeah. I was gonna freaking call that thing an Arcanine, the lion. Right, right, <laughs> I was right. Like, can, I, can, can I catch it? You, what about oh that, that fox? Those those white foxes with the tails. Nine tails. Yeah, look like nine yeah, tails. Yeah, look at Pokemon's tails, yeah. in there. You could even throw in maybe a Pokemon merge here with this with this movie feel. Mm-hmm. The dragon. Oh my god, that dragon was dope, dog. Yeah. I was yeah. screaming so hard when it, when his soul was almost sucked out. I was like, please. Uh-huh. please. <laughs> Somebody help the dragon. We all do them oh if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> For real. What was yeah. the funniest part? Did you, okay, you mentioned the funny part to you was uh, the explanation of uh, the origin story. That one and, uh, and, uh, and when he said he speak ABC. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then with the whole... <laughs> When she said, I, I like your mask, and he, he said, how he said it? Which one? When he I said, like thanks, it. thanks in, in uh, Japanese. Oh, the way he said it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the way yeah, he yeah, said yeah, it. The way he yeah. pronounced it was funny. Mm-hmm. My funniest part, though, had to be when, um, what's his name? The dude with the fist. Uh, ah, Razor Fist. Razor, Razor fist. fist. The guy that uh-huh. had the, the little sword in his thing. And he, they were like, we have to work together. Oh, and he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he sees the creature suck the soul out of, of the, the same ass dude. Right. And uh, then he's like, we should probably work yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, we should probably work together. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that, that. that kind of remind me of that scene in uh, the first Avengers. Yeah, yeah, where, like, who are where, you? Yeah. Where, yeah, where Captain America was. Why was, should we listen to you? Exactly. And then, <laughs> and then he saw him fighting all the way. He's like, yeah. we need everybody. <laughs> yeah. Like, we need all that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Get this man what he wants. Right, right, yeah. right. It was good. It was. Which was, was the best fight to you? Which was the best fight to uh, you? Best fight. Best fight had to be. Um, Shang Chi versus that the homeboy with the mask in the building mm, with yeah, the with yeah. the with the neon lights in the background. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, that would be my close second to the first one that I was gonna pick. Um, mm-hmm. His fu- the fight with his father that was like fight was funny. Yeah, classic dude. Like he was gonna blast him away this command man, and he's just right. like, not nah, chill. I don't even need to do. I don't this. even need I was that. Like, God, yeah. hey, dude, that was dope. That show you but, right there. He don't need those rings. Yeah, don't you don't need it. He that. is. He, I'm telling you, man. He is. A, he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with going forward. I feel oh yeah, like yeah. Folks, get behind the Shang Chi train, man. He is legit like an Avenger. Yeah, and and yeah. on top of everything here with the movie, the visuals were stunning. Right. Set pieces were done masterfully. Like right. that whole forest scene where, you know, the maze, that scene looked really cool. The one with the mom and how she's using the leaf and the chi and the chakra mm-hmm. all around her. I was like, man, this is good. Definitely an action adventure film. Yeah, hands down. From the jump. I wasn't expecting that bus scene until like probably 20 minutes in. That thing was right? early. <laughs> yeah, it was super early. That thing was early. But it wasn't, it didn't throw the pacing of the No, not at all. No, no, no. Yeah, so hands down, 10 out of 10 here, folks. Um, right. Anything else you want to throw in on this awesome movie? Uh, that's it. That's all. Shang-Chi for the win. Dude. Shang-Chi for the win. Stay win, tuned win, win. because I'm very excited for the, for the next phase now with him being included. Right. Just the fact, like, there's going to be a whole lot more diversity in the Marvel world. You know what yeah. I mean? In terms I'm, I'm of his, his realm brings in so much diversity as well. So I'm just like, let's do it. I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Yep. Can you imagine when uh, Katie meets, like, Ant-Man for no reason? That kind of conversation? I know, right? Or or Katie meeting um, our Agent Wu. That's what we need. <laughs> more more side characters meeting yeah. other... other um, Solo film characters, yeah. side characters. Let's just do it. Just do it. Do it. I'm ready. Do it all. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Shang Chi, folks, go check it out, man. Ten out of ten, 10 out from of the 10. Call It crew. You want to chime in as well? Let us know what you thought about this movie. 
and send us those comments. You know, send us a lot so send we can those comments end, so we end can, the yeah. universe. The words. <laughs> so, we, so we can crush the universe. <laughs> yeah, with comments. <laughs> they're doing it again now. <laughs> Oh my God! So oh, you want to call it on the Shang Chi? We can call it right there today on the Shang Chi. So as much as we call it thing. yes, Tang Ritz. Thank you. Throw that part in. <laughs> so as much as we love talking, you know, all the stuff with Disney and whatnot, with how well they're doing stuff. One thing that we did not mention or did not talk about, and I can't believe we didn't talk about it, was the whole uh, Scarlett Joe situation with Disney. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, of course by now everybody knows like she's been having this lawsuit with Disney. They didn't want to. Uh, pay her her money it seems like for for or they promised her she 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 was told that they would release the movie black widow Mm -hmm. um strictly theater release they broke that promise and did it as as well with streaming yeah they breached the terms of her contract right they breached the terms of her contract and on top of that the money that they're making from the streaming service is not part of her deal Mm-hmm. So the money that they're getting from that, she's not getting in on. It's only yeah. the, uh, theater release money that she's making from this. So movie. they robbing her bonus of up to fifty million. She couldn't fifty get. million dollars. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not saying like you know I've, of course all these celebrities they have their money they're rich whatever. I'm not coming at this from a money standpoint. It's more of a respect. Right. Right. You breach more contracts. Of, you can't more do that. of yeah more of the principality of it. Now, I mean right. this woman has been a like major piece of your whole Marvel experience right. from mm-hmm. the jump. You know what I mean? And to treat her like like this in the end is so unfortunate. Right. So like why? Why Disney? Why do these monopolies that, have you, to do this to people? She's one of the producers of this film. Exactly. It's one of her. She, she's put in blood, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears too. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, it, it really showed me as much as well as, I mean, of course, we know all these big corporations that, you know, they'll be money hungry or whatever on the side. That's the, mm-hmm. the root of all evil here, right? Right. But come on, dude. It's like, it's, it's one of your main pieces. Send her off with some dignity. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not only did you mess up with, like, the release of her movie and the, the placing of the timing of her movie, you know. You gonna mess up how she gets paid for it too? Mm-hmm. Come on, dogs. That's yeah. that's a very low blow. I'm disappointed. This is the first time I'm actually disappointed in the Marvel side of things. You know, it's I mean? more Disney. It's not really Marvel though. But I mean, Disney owns Marvel, dude. Yeah, Disney owns so Marvel. So nobody's they, they're not guilt free. Disney is where the money come in though, right? Because Kevin, so, Kevin Kevin can't control that if but Disney he, says he, what what he want because he was on her side, right? So, but he, I mean, make a bigger push though. Give her her pay. Yeah. Say like, or you could you stand behind like, look, we're not gonna produce these movies just who's, yet until you, till you, till you settle this the right way with with Scarlett Joe. Who's the CEO of uh, Disney? I don't know, some some devil. <laughs> 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 it's probably that devilish Doctor Strange. <laughs> he he couldn't save his girl, so he became the head of Disney. You know? oh, he, he, he's changing his uh, look. Yeah, he changed his look. It's, it's not really a mouse there, folks. It's, it's the uh, it's the evil Doctor Strange. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. But not only am I disappointed in them and how they're treating her in this situation, but it's like some of the her co actors haven't really come out to like show support. You know, like Robert Downey Jr. I'm looking at you right now, bro. He hasn't said jack squat. He's done with Marvel. I do say. I know, I'm but dead. at least no. at least he could voice his opinion though in the situation. You know That's I mean? true. But then again, if he does, what that's gonna do? The only the only way this can all be be settled is through court. Mm-hmm. Is through court. Yeah, which is coming up, right? Yeah, because I don't think that it's been settled yet. So right, because but man, it's happening. It's ha- it, but that's the thing. Like I think what was it? Um, who was it? The guy that Sam Sam Wilson. What's his name? What's his character again? What's his uh, the actor name? Anthony Mackie. Yeah, it was it was taken. I think I saw, I saw this video one time where he was talking about how long it took to get like the Black Captain America thing going or mm-hmm. diversity going, and he was a little skeptical in joining Marvel and Disney's plan in the yeah. beginning, you know, because he, he's like, "Look, man, they're not really known for, you know, branching out in terms of race and diversity, you right. know." And then from my personal experience with, I've, I've worked it with Disney before, and just seeing how things are run just on the low level, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, it ain't gets, it doesn't get any better on the top. <laughs> exactly. You know it don't, I mean? man. In terms, it of, don't. in terms of how they treat their uh, minority groups. So, right. And, and, and then to come in, but then to come and treat like Scarlett Joe like this, I'm like, these are the people that's making you the bank. So it's just right. like, 
man, you put out beautiful stuff, but behind the scenes, there's just some really twisted, twisted yeah. people working it's, it's behind It's not the scenes, always man. perfect, man. Nah, man, it's, it's disappointing. It really is disappointing. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm still going to be watching their stuff. <laughs> you know? oh, no, and no, as, no doubt. You, can, you, can't, you can't deny that. Right, you can't deny You're that. You're going to be but, watching their stuff, and you're just going to be like shaking your head on the side for this yeah. other stuff, man. We know what you be doing, though. Yeah. We like what you're doing. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. We don't support that aspect of what you're doing. We support the other parts of what you're doing. Right. So, I don't know. You want to chime in anything else on here or you want to call it on that one? I think we should call it right in there. Disney, we can just shake our finger at you and just do better. Please do better. Do better for your actors. Yeah, they're they're, they're celebrities, but they have hearts too. You know what I mean? They have families they got to feed. I mean, they probably still feed their families (laughs) with their current salary. But Mm -hmm. um, just, just show the respect that's needed, man. Come on. Do better. Do better, Disney. Do better, Disney. All right. Uh, time for positive chakra, right? We got to move oh, it on yeah. out. Oh, man. This episode was quick, dogs. Yeah. Time Don't to settle. Got? Time to settle, settle in. All right. Doing it here once again for uh, positive, positive chakra. chakra. Yeah. And uh, I'm taking it away this week, right? Mm-hmm. Got to be a quick one, so here we go. Look, sometimes you got to go fast just to, get, just to do what you got to do. So just do it, right? So bye. <laughs> Positive Chakra Chakra. There you go (laughs) Quick and fast Quick and fast Just like we planned it Quick and fast for your If you didn't catch it Rewind Play it again I'm not saying it again (laughs) Don't need to Alright This is a short one I'm I'm, I'm ready to yell out But I don't know what the hell Um, You're still talking about We got um, any yell out before Yell out to uh, Well rest in peace to Ed Asner man You know he's the voice Mm. of Um J. Jonah Jameson from the 90s Spider-Man anime mm. series. Mm-hmm. Carl from uh, Disney's Up. Mm. Um, Hudson from Gargoyles. Oh, man. Uh, Granted Goodness from the Superman anime series. So, yeah. Recipes. Rest 91 peace, years man. old. 91. Long yeah. life. Long mm-hmm. life. Beautiful, Long life. man. Yeah. Rest in peace, bro. Um, anyone else for your yell outs? Um, that's all. That's all I have for yell outs. All right. I'm going to do my yell out. Yell outs out to all those in Louisiana and on the East Coast. I just saw this past week on how the remnants of uh, Ida hit New York and New yeah. Jersey, man. Yeah, man. They lost like about 51 people, I think, or something like that. Mm. That's heartbreaking, bro. That like, is. They're man. not built. They're not built for that kind of flood. So, yeah. hearts out to them. Uh, hopefully, everybody's you know doing their best to recover from that storm. Yeah. And I mean, we're not even through the hurricane season yet, dude. We got like two mm. more months. Oh mm. my God. So yeah. Hopefully we come the, out on top. Bro. I think the worst is 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 over though because you know that that August those few few days in August man is is where those big ones come in. I don't know, dude, because there was a report saying there's a sixty percent chance of abnormal hurricanes this year. So mm. well, we again. might just be in the beginning. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Climate see. change is happening, folks, and it's right here. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Uh, I say that as I'm going to go drive my gas guzzling car tomorrow. I'm so... <laughs> uh, we're such hypocrites this human You race. need to get a uh, hybrid. I didn't get me a damn Tesla. Jennifer, we need to start pushing our Teslas to the cast. Let's get that happening. Yeah, 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 definitely. Give yeah. Me a, and yeah, also my next yell out... Just give me Next yell out going out to uh, Civil D, man. Civil D. Just group Civil of our friends. D. We haven't hung out in a while, and hope yeah. everybody's doing good. You know, Everybody. good to see you like All yesterday, around. man. That was great. Yeah, that was great. Man. Big yeah. W, nice see you w. again last night. Yeah, man. that was fun. You know, the money M dollar R. M what's up? Shalee, pour one out for you. Max, what's up? Max, she in the room? Yeah, my wife. We're all part of it. Lisa, what's up? What's up, everybody? Just say hi. Hello, friend. Yeah. Hang tight. We know the fall grind is very busy for everybody. So Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will link up again soon enough. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that was it on this very quick episode of Call It Here, folks. That was that guy known as GP. And that was that guy right there known as AD. And if you didn't realize, folks, uh, because this episode is too short, this is what we do. <laughs> and, you know, we got to pay some dues now. Just keep it short. Just keep it short. <laughs> yeah, keep it short because that's why that's why I be paying dues all around. Mm-hmm. So we will catch you guys next time on the Flippity Flop. Peace. Bye. Deuces.